Good afternoon. George Cavaligos for HFT Bonds. New lows, new lows, new lows. Um, twice last night the market broke down once right after the opening, made a lower low. Um, and then again, actually early, early this morning, it looked like as New York was coming in around, you know, like 5.30 Chicago time, 6.30 New York time, we caught another burst of selling. It took the market down and made another set of new lows. The early low last night uh, in the Asian session was what, uh, 08 in the 10 year, then we broke down to 06 in the early, early New York session. And then on the numbers this morning, we obviously made new lows. 131.30, I'm sorry, 130.30, the current low of today, and then we bounced. Massive volume again, 1.45 million 10 years. Um, that's a little bit less than Friday's volume. But I think we're hitting some important levels. Um, I'm no expert on Bollinger Bands by far, but if you look at the chart, especially the chart I sent out this morning on the bonds with the uh, important levels there, you notice every time we take out the daily Bollinger, we have a tendency to rebound after that. Whether it's immediately or a day or two later, we have a tendency to rebound. So I'm going to label this morning's low a wave three low, and we're looking for some kind of a bounce. Um, I think it still behooves us to try and sell rallies. The markets didn't do anything bullish by far. Um, we actually closed well right around the, the early evening lows from last night, but we did close below the previous lows. That's not a positive situation. I think we can have a corrective bounce here. Um, I'm not betting on the long side. I'm looking for spots to try and sell the market. I highlighted the 131.09 plus and 143.25 levels as possible C equals A bounces up off the uh, early morning lows and you know right around the uh, equity closes we're hitting those levels. You know if you're a risk oriented uh, type of person you might want to try a small short here. Um, give it a short leash in terms of time. Uh, what do we have? Another 45 minutes before the uh, Globex session closes and into the evening session. Keep it small. You know, again, I'm a bit unnerved by the, you know, the breakthrough through and then recovery of those Bollinger levels. We did close like right on top of them in the uh, tenure, and I think on the on the bonds too. Yeah, well, we closed a little bit above there, but not by much and I still think that the trend at least in the intermediate term is down I think we're gonna see a bit of a bounce here and then at least one more lower low to finish up what I think is a, a C wave of a big top maybe of a big sideways corrective pattern you guys that got the chart your subscribers that got the chart sent out you have kind of an idea of what I'm looking at here over the next probably month two to three weeks, month. Bounce, another sell-off, another lower low, and then maybe a better bounce after that, but we'll see. Um, what else? Short-term trade, we did hit that 09 plus, well we didn't hit 09 plus, we got to 09, but we did hit the bonds uh, 143.25 level, bang right on, but we're not really reversing off there, so if you are trying to short up here, make sure it's small. Um, I kind of think that somebody has been slowly buying, whether it's short covering or new longs, has been slowly buying the market here all uh, sort of through the late part of the afternoon. Accumulation, a couple of my uh, Twitter buddies were calling it. Uh, the previous fourth wave highs are important of one less degree. So look at an hourly chart, you could see the previous highs. 131, 16 plus, and or is it 144.06? For some reason, 144.06, 144.11, and 144.24, those are the levels that are banging around in my head right now. Watch those levels, look for reversal behaviors once we hit those levels, and then jump on the short side again. Um, I think that's about it. If we do sell off a little bit, look for the fib retracements. You know, if we do get a short-term sell signal here, I think today we started sort of an A wave pattern up. Remember, these corrective patterns go A, B, C typically, or just the reverse of that, obviously, for you know bearish um, corrective patterns. 
So we're in a bull corrective pattern, I think. We're going to go up in A. We might have finished that at uh, the highs that we just saw today. And then we get a little pullback B, and then we get another rally C. Sometimes those extend, and they'll go A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. In multiple zigzags, those are called. So we're looking at retesting you know, resistance levels. We're looking for failures. And we're going to try and put some shorts on either at those resistance levels or on some type of a failure here. The market, you know, had the huge volume this morning. Ever since then, the volume has really dried up, and it's making it hard to read. What I'm looking for is some kind of reversal signal, a doji or, you know, an outside bar, you know, an outside candle with increasing volume on the down tick, those types of things. You guys know that are in the chat room, those levels that we've talked about before. So... That's the game plan. Uh, we'll take a look at things tonight on the Twitter feed. I don't think we're going to see much. You know, the way the volume dried up here this afternoon, I think we saw some short covering early. Um, some longs probably got blown out too. And tomorrow we have the five-year auction. Typically, the better part of this two-five-seven cycle is the five-year. People like that. That's kind of where the Fed is uh, concentrating a lot of their buys now too. So the dealers will be inclined to be buyers in the five years so they can turn around and sell them to the Fed at later dates. And then Wednesday's the FOMC meeting and the seven-year auction. So, you know, people are more inclined to be squaring up positions at this point rather than putting on new positions in front of the FOMC. So be careful. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night.